Has a universal cure for tinnitus been found by directly interfacing with someone's brain? Tinnitus makes its sufferers experience a sound that's not actually audible for others and doesn't come from an external source. The sound is most often described as a ringing noise which occasionally and temporarily appears for almost everyone. But people suffering from tinnitus experience it permanently without any treatment due to its unknown but also wide-reaching causes. But as scientists' knowledge of the human body and our brains increase, so does the treatment of tinnitus slowly become possible. In this video I'll show you and explain the most promising treatments and research on curing tinnitus. Tinnitus has bothered people for pretty much as long as we have had ears. There are reports from as far back as at least 1600 BC. With centuries worth of suffering, you'd think scientists would have discovered a cure by now, but a solution has so far proven to be elusive. This is mostly due to the fact that tinnitus is hard to pinpoint exactly. There are more than 170 conditions that have been linked with tinnitus and such a range in the severity of symptoms among individuals, it's difficult for researchers to even know where to begin. Even people exposed to the same risk factors won't all develop tinnitus, and those who do will suffer to widely varying degrees. Of the 60 million Americans who suffer from tinnitus, no two people have the same experience. For some individuals, tinnitus is something that happens only occasionally and is barely noticeable, while others find it such an overwhelming burden they can scarcely function on a daily basis. The most common denominator on the cause for tinnitus seems to be either hearing damage caused by long exposure to loud noises or anxiety. There used to be little hope until very recently, but now the advancements in brain-computer interfaces have given tinnitus sufferers hope in the sense of being treated with deep brain stimulation. Since everything you experience, whether it is vision of in the case of tinnitus, your hearing, is being created by your brain, this is where researchers are giving most of their attention to. The therapy, called Deep Brain Stimulation or DBS for short, involves the implantation of electrodes in the brain. Electrodes are basically explained, tiny wires that get implanted into the surface of your brain to read and write electrical signals into your brain. These are attached to a device that stimulates them with an electrical current. Participants were given different levels of stimulation beginning five weeks after their brain surgery. Once an appropriate setting was found, they received constant stimulation for a 24-week period. This type of stimulation is a pretty old procedure and is the equivalent to kicking your television in hopes of fixing it. But just like in the TV comparison, it sometimes actually works. Later in the video I'll explain more general and safe ways of fixing someone's tinnitus. So was deep brain stimulation actually effective in curing tinnitus? The sample size was small. Only five patients were tested but the results were promising. Four of the patients experienced a reduction in their tinnitus symptoms, with the fifth showing no change. Neither the surgical implantation nor DBS produced any serious side effects, though minor symptoms such as pain and headaches were noted. During the adjustment period, one of the patients reported visual phantoms. Overall, DBS proved effective in diminishing the negative experience of tinnitus, although each patient experienced the effect differently. Various tests were applied to measure the efficacy of DBS in tinnitus. A comparison of the patient's tinnitus functional index scores before treatment and during constant stimulation showed significant clinical improvement in three patients at around 60%. A comparison of the patient's tinnitus handicap inventory scores before treatment and during constant stimulation showed significant clinical improvement in four patients at around 80%. Given the promising outcomes of this study, the authors look forward to a phase 2 study. They suggest that this next trial could benefit by a refinement of the target position of the DBS leads, with the aim of shortening the stimulation optimization period and making the treatment effect more uniform. But as I said previously, the way deep brain stimulation actually works is pretty unreliable and can specifically target the part of your brain that's causing you to experience tinnitus. This is where future brain-computer interfaces such as Elon Musk's Neuralink come in. Those brain-computer interfaces are able to read and pinpoint where exactly inside your brain, the sound of tinnitus is being created and then counteract these neural spikes by using Neuralink's built-in write functionality. This wouldn't even be that complicated to do in the grand scheme of things and once Neuralink enters human trials. Elon Musk even mentioned tinnitus as one of the areas in which Neuralink could excel at compared to older brain-computer interfaces due to its high bandwidth and secure robotic implantation. 
Human trials are also supposed to start this year, so I don't believe that tinnitus has to be endured for that much longer. Elon also expects to be able to make people listen to music and sounds with the help of Neuralink. So at the very least, people suffering from tinnitus could drown out the annoying ringing with something nicer. So what is your opinion on these potential cures for tinnitus? While there have been many claims of finally being able to treat tinnitus in almost silly to imagine ways such as electrifying your tongue of constantly slapping the backside of your head, directly telling your brain not to produce this annoying sound seems to be the safest bet in curing tinnitus. If you're suffering from tinnitus, please remember that there's always a light at the end of the tunnel and you will be able to overcome this part of your life. I believe in you. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.